Hello everyone. Welcome to Madam Tay Mathematics class. Let's continue Mathematics Year Five. Multiplication of units of length. Today, I will explain the question in your textbook, page one hundred eighty-six. This is question one a. For the question like this. The first thing you need to refer to the unit. Kamu kena semak dulu unit. For this one in cm and the answer also in cm. Okay, kedua-duanya dalam cm. So we just multiply as usual. Darab seperti biasa. You do like this. 4.39 cm times 8. So after times, your answer will be in cm also. Question B, check the unit first in cm. This is in cm and the answer in mm. Jawapan nak dalam mm. Do you still remember the relationship between cm and mm? Apakah hubungan cm dan mm? This one, 1 cm is equal to 10 mm. So, We need this one, the fraction, because there is a fraction in the question, 3 over 4 cm. After this, we need to convert 3 over 4 to mm. Okay, 3 over 4 cm, convert to mm. So now, this 9, this 9 is 9 cm. When I convert to mm, I need to times 10. 9 times 10 is 90 mm. After that, 3 over 4 cm. So we refer the table. 3 over 4 cm when convert to mm, it is 7.5 mm. So after that, we add up. Tambahkan dua dua ni. 90 plus 7.5. So we will get 97.5 mm. After convert, then we times with 6. Selepas tukar unit, kita darab dengan 6. So, after you multiply, when you get the answer, the answer is in unit mm. Question C. Let's check the unit. Meter m and cm. So, the relationship for meter and cm is this. 1 meter is equal to 100 cm. Ini adalah hubungan meter dan cm. Now, look at this one. 7 and 1 over 5 meter. So, this 7, I convert to cm. Saya tukar kepada cm. 1m sama dengan 100. So, 7M sama dengan 700, 700 cm. And this 1 over 5, 1 over 5, I need to refer to this table. 1 over 5 here. 1 over 5 meter is equal to 20 cm. So this is 20 cm. After that, I add up. So I get 700 plus 20 is 720 then only I times with 13. Selepas tu awak times dengan 13. Or you don't want to do like this, you can use lattice method. Kalau kamu tak nak kira guna bentuk seperti ini, kamu boleh buat ini. Lattice method. Okay? So you will get the answer also. Then you write the answer in CM. Question D, alright, for this one, this is in meter. When you times, you get the meter. And this is km. If I want to convert from meter to km, okay, now what is the relationship for meter and km? Hubungan meter dengan km, ingat tak? Ini, 1 km 
equal to 1000 meter. If I want to convert from m, convert to km, I need to divide. Saya kena bahagi. Okay. If this one, I divide by 1000, then I will move the decimal point 3 step to the left. Kalau saya nak tukar unit dulu, saya akan bergerak point ini ke sebelah kiri 3 langkah. So, lepas tu, kita akan dapat jawapan yang panjang. Sebab kita akan dapat 0.00744. Jadi, kamu akan jadi susah untuk mengira nanti. So, for this one, I don't want to convert first. Untuk soalan ni, saya tak nak tukar unit dulu. Saya nak times dulu. Okay? Times dulu. Jawapan dalam M dulu. Selepas dapat jawapan nanti, baru saya tukar KM. So, for this one, I want to do like this first. 7.44 times 25. So, you can use this method or you can use lattice method to calculate the answer. So, when I start, I start to times 5, 5, 4, 4, 5, 4, 20 and so on. Then you will get like this. Then, start with 2 times 4, right? Okay, I will get this. And finally, I have to add up. Saya kena tambahkan dua-dua ni. And don't forget the point. Macam mana nak letak point? You refer to this one. One decimal place, two decimal place, then point. So, sama. One decimal place, two decimal place, and then point. So, after times, this is in meter. So, this is also in meter. This is 186 meter. Then only, I convert it to KM. Selepas darab, baru tukar unit. So, tak semestinya kita tukar dulu baru darab. Kamu boleh darab dulu baru tukar unit. Alright? Terpulang bergantung pada soalan itu. Ikut mana yang senang. Okay, so this one, 186 M convert to KM. So, M convert to km m tukar kepada km dy 1000 arah ini adalah bahagi so 186 dy 1000 so i put the point at the back letakkan point di hujung sekali and dy move to the left side gerak ke kiri 1000 ada 30 so i move 3 step and I will get I will get 0 0.186 km. This is for question D. How about question E? Okay, question E is very simple. You look at the unit first. This is in km, already in km, and the answer also in km. So you just times, then you will get the answer in km also. Kamu darab seperti biasa sahaja. Soalan ini tak payah tukar unit. So, you can do like this or you can do like this method. Guna mana-mana satu. Jawapannya sama. For question F, okay, this one we check the unit meter and km. So, do you still remember 1 km is equal to 1000 meter? Right? So, for this table, this table is from km convert meter. Jadual ini adalah guna untuk km tukar meter. Contohnya, 1 over 2 km tukar meter. Tapi soalan ini, 1 over 2 m Nak tukar KM, boleh tak saya guna jadual ini? Can I use this table? M to KM is cannot. Okay? Kita tak boleh guna jadual ini. Sebab jadual ini KM tukar M. Sekarang M pergi KM, tak boleh guna jadual ini. Okay. So, what should we do now? Do you still remember the topic of fraction? 
Adakah anda masih ingat topik fraction? Multiplication of fraction. So, kita boleh guna cara darab fraction. Uh, multiply fraction untuk selesaikan dulu ya. Okay, this one I can write like this. Saya boleh terbalikkan dia. 10 and 1 over 2 times 70. And then this one convert to improper fraction times and plus. 10 times 2 is 20. 20 plus 1. So we will get 21 over 2. Sudah tukar improper. And then times 70. Then 2 can divide by 2. 70 also can divide by 2. So we can simplify. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 70 divided by 2 is 35. Then 21 times 35. Okay, awak kena kira lah. 21 times 35. So you will get 735. 735. Unit apa? M. Because this is M. Okay. So 735 meter. Once you get this answer, then only you convert to KM. Belum selesai lagi, kita kena tukar kepada KM. So ambil jawapan ini. 735M convert to KM. So, ingat macam tadi, M pergi KM, divide 1000. Okay? So, I put a point at the back and move 3 step to the right, to the left, bergerak ke kiri, 3 langkah, then I will get 0.735KM. That's all for today. Thank you and happy learning.